This is an interview with Key Grip Jake Reeder about best practices for working with the grip department. The Cinema 5D Virtual Show is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video, and photo solutions. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. SERP, better films. And Tilta, arm your camera. Hello, everyone. Welcome to CinemaFID.com. My name is Grammy Miller Sheldon. Uh, I have Jake Reeder with me today. Jake is a fantastic key grip. I know this because I just worked on a feature with Jake a few months ago. He's quarantined. I'm quarantined. Um, you know, we're, we're dealing with it. But a little bit about Jake. So he's worked on most of the uh, music videos from the top 40 artists, I'd say. Um, commercials for folks like Apple, um, Google, and he just did a show. He's actually wearing the hat right now for Netflix called Extra Ordinary. Uh, Jake, thank you so much for hanging out with me on Zoom here today. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. So... Jake, we, we were talking a little bit on this last feature we worked on together about what are the sort of misconceptions about being a grip, being a part of the grip department, um, mostly externally, like people think you do a specific thing, but the reality is, is often far different. I mean, I think we should mention that to have a, a grip department period, you need to be on a certain level of production. So, I mean, that's worth pointing out. But what does a grip do? And uh, what are some of the misconceptions about your role on a set? Um, well, what is most interesting about that is uh, the bigger the job, the more involved the grip department is. Um, for example, a, a lot of people don't think of grips uh, in lighting, in a lighting aspect, they always go to the gaffer. And um, a DP would generally know, you know, that certain things, uh, how light looks, that they know that they need to go to grip for that. Um, but for the most part, everybody on set kind of thinks of the grips as like, uh, moving the big heavy things. And that is, that is a part of what we do, but our job is actually so much more intimate and actually so much more involved than even like the electrician jobs. So a gaffer and a key grip are equivalent. One isn't above the other. Um, we, you know, the only way our two departments work is if they're in harmony. Um, but the difference is, is that grips actually have so many more responsibilities among so many other departments generally than um, electric does. For example, um, we do all of the rigging and camera support for camera. Wherever they have to get camera, you know, we work on doing that. We're also, along with the first AD and the medic, um, are in charge of safety. Actually, medics are in the same union that grips are. So, you know, we're kind of watching weather, um, we're watching environmental type stuff. And, and again, like the smaller the job, the less that applies, but it's still, it, that's one of the biggest things that people don't realize about a key grip is like you, you go to the key grip for a lot of different concerns. And we generally have, it, it's kind of our job to have the resolutions for a production's problem. Just to dive a little deeper, how much control does the grip department specifically have over the final image, the stuff that goes into the film? Because I think it's a little bit of an unfair question. You know, of course, everything matters, but it's the stuff that people see most often. And I think the answer is actually quite a lot. Uh, so anytime you see a camera moving, like a, a moving shot, um, yes, there are camera operators that are operating the camera itself, but a grip is always behind that movement. Even when it's handheld, a grip is, you know, right behind the operator, that steady cam, making sure that they don't fall, making sure that they're uh, sometimes even just pulling them along their path. Um, they're pushing the dolly, they're operating the crane a lot of times. And the, even if you have crane operators, you still have grip support to be able to get the crane there. So I, I sent you some pictures with a mobile crane in the desert. And just to get that crane to the spot where it needed to be to do its job, those operators, the grips, worked on getting that crane there. You know, me and my team had to lay out a chain link fence and get our vehicles up in there to help pull it and push it and all, all, all those things. So it's just like any time the camera is involved, grips are also involved. And, and even with lighting, any gaffer with any experience will tell you that 
the true lighting is on grip side. You have to have, you know, yeah, a gaffer places all the lights, but um, um, the light, the light is really uh, sold through the grip department by our, our shaping and our control of it. Now, um, onset communication is a big part of your and my job. And I just wanted to get your take on what sort of good communication looks like, um, whether it's between, I guess it would be between, you know, gaffer, grip, DP, grip, somewhere in that sort of like key triangle. Um, how do you prefer to, you know, be getting notes and to have communication work, ideally? Well, it all starts uh, with scouts. Your key grip and your gaffer have to be on the scout because the scout is when we're, we're not only getting initial notes for the dream that the DP and the director want to achieve, um, but also we're at the location and talking with each other on what's realistic because the gaffer works towards um, getting to what the DP wants to see and then the key grip works towards making that possible or or if it's not possible uh coming up with uh um another way to do it again that whole resolution type of thing um so it is or, kind just, of or just saying or just saying no to be honest i mean sometimes just, like honestly it, sometimes yeah. yes and that that happens a lot too to be honest like um a lot of times people do look to the key grip as the no guy and, and not not in a negative way but just to know whether or not it, it's safe or not you know um, so that, that, that's really kind of the main chain of command. I mean, the, the DP is, is kind of like the point and then it umbrellas down from there to the gaffer and the key grip. And we bounce between the two there trying to make, you know, what's the most realistic for both of us for the DP, um, which is probably one of the biggest misconceptions. A lot of people, uh, tend to think that the key grip is under the gaffer and the gaffer is giving orders. and I think that misconception really just comes from when you're at, you know, the low budget indie level, chances are they're going to spend more money or try to hire a more experienced gaffer because electricity can kill people. <laughs> uh, and that's just uh, at that level, that's much more of a risk because chances are lights are always dangerous. Gripping is not always dangerous until you're at a certain level where you're doing you know really big things that are hanging over people's head but generally on those really low budget things it's just about c stands and shaping light which you know again that's that's where that gaffer kind of steps in and is able to uh give those orders um what type of person uh makes for a good grip in in your opinion uh, makes for a good member of the team because it is not for everyone, like any role, you know, on a feature commercial, or I mean, even a, even docs to a lesser extent. Uh, yeah, why don't, you, why don't you take that question, Jake? Who's who's like the perfect member of your of your team? You think what what qualities do they have? That's interesting, and that's something that is almost kind of trial and error per you as a key grips preference. Um, but I, I will say, it behooves you to have people with many different specialized areas. For example, a best boy grip, who, who is um, like the, the second in command on the grip department, they may not actually be the strongest grip. A, 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 good, a good metaphor is like the key grip is the owner of the company and the best boy is the manager of the company. So the manager isn't always out on the floor doing all of the stuff, but they're making sure that the, the orders are coming down to the employees and that stuff is getting done and they're keeping track of inventory and keeping everything in order on the truck um, and actually dealing with production the most because the key grip generally can't leave the monitor or can't leave set because they have to be there to hear uh, notes from the DP. Um, and so the best boy is often shuttling between the key grip and uh, production. Uh, as far as what makes a good grip, as physical as it is, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is really just attitude, and um, you ha you have to want it. I mean, because it is physical, the job isn't easy. So if you're not interested, if you don't want it, then it, it's it's hard to want to hire that person because gripping is so intimate we're doing so many like 
arts and crafts type of things and tedious things and, and really physically tough things, if, you, if you're not into it, you're just you're not going to do it well enough. And, that, and if you can't do your job right, there's not really any point to do it. Sure. Well, how, well, which brings up, you know, how did you um, fall into it initially? Like, what was the moment where you're like, oh, yeah, uh, I, I feel like I can do this? That's yeah, that is, that is the question I get asked the most because I actually went to school for film. I actually have a degree. I'm one of the smart grips. <laughs> and uh and uh I, I you know back where i come from in the midwest gripping isn't really a thing i mean everyone is is a freelancer and everybody does all the different jobs and you learn it as you go i mean i was also in college so just kind of trying everything and doing everything in the classes um and outside of the classes but i came to la you know just wanting to be in the film industry i just i just knew that i wanted to work in the film industry in general that was a dream of mine that I've had, you know, since seventh grade, uh, since forever. And so that's what I came out here for. I didn't really know or realize that gripping was like a career. So it was kind of just something that I fell into by accident. Um, I, I never really PA'd per se. Um, I just kind of got on set as a grip because it's, it's one of the easiest ways to uh, get hired and because not a lot of people want to do it especially when they're starting out, everybody thinks they want to be a director or a DP. Um, and then I just kind of, you know, as I did that a few times, you do it once and they call you back and then they call you back and you kind of generate a little bit of a circle. And once I was in that first circle, I kind of realized like, wow, you know, these guys are really like, this, this is a super intimate job. I mean, we're involved with every department and, and we're kind of like the weird glue that like makes all the, part, the, the departments come together and create the vision that the director wants, which I just, I was one of those people that just never realized that. Like I said, I didn't even know that position really existed. I thought it was just kind of everybody worked together to make that happen, which is true, but the grips specialize in the tools of making that happen. Well, uh, thank you so much, Jake, for taking a few minutes uh, here with me. I think, you know, Hopefully this helps clear up um, misconceptions that people might have uh, about the grip part department in general, because it is such an incredibly valuable part of the process. And um, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about uh, Jake and what he does with his company, uh, Misfit Grip, I know you're on Instagram, just spell it out, Misfit Grip, easy to remember. So I'm sure you can uh, hit him up on social with any questions you might have there. But Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, Jake, uh, have a good rest of your day and stay tuned for more industry discussions and quick tips at cinema5d.com. Thanks, everybody. Bye.